Hi, welcome to this tutorial by Ricky Lee for RickyLee.com. By the end of this tutorial, you should be able to modify the codes and create a tool to lock and unlock any folder that you want on your Windows system. First, you'll need to go ahead and visit RickyLee.com. And you'll need to go ahead and create an account if you don't have one. It is free. After you log in, click on free gifts and choose lock your folder without any software. Click on that. And here you will see the instructions. Go ahead and read it. And there's a disclaimer here. Go ahead and read it. Here is where you click to download the two text files with the codes. It is AVG verified virus free. I'm going to click OK to download. It's quick. I'm going to click open the folder. And this is the file. I'm going to right click and do a scan for your security and peace of mind. No infection was found. I'm going to close this. And now I'm going to right click on this downloaded file. I'm going to extract it. If you don't have an extraction software, please visit rickily.com and get it. And if you don't know how to do it, please visit rickily.com for the video on how to extract. Once you do this, go ahead and click into the folder by clicking on the icon. And here you see the instruction again. If you'd like to read it, click it again. Or if I'm going too fast, you can click it and read it. And here is the file with the codes that you need for this tool to lock and unlock. It is not a software. It's just a notepad file. Click on it and it opens up. And you can see here are the entire written codes. I actually learned this and got this from um, 101, Computer Geek 101. And that's the credit goes to him. I just thought I'd make a video that I thought uh, might help you. Okay, in here, you'll need to change this with particular information this is where you put your folder name this is the folder the name of the folder that you want to lock or unlock so I'm going to go ahead and choose a folder that I'm going to lock or unlock I'm going to choose this particular one Dale Carnegie or if you want to create a folder that you can use over and over because every key opens only one folder so for example I'm going to create a folder I'm going to name it Ricky Lee and anytime I want to lock something I could drag it into this folder like I'm going to do here drag into that folder and you can always add more okay so I'm going to right click and select rename I'm going to then use the my mouse click left click copy because you need the exact name of this folder and I believe if you can type it fine I prefer to copy using the system so that I can't make the mistake and then come back to the code file it is a notepad text file as you can see here highlight this particular information put your folder name here after you highlight it right click on it and then select left click paste you're gonna do this six times that's one two Go down, three, put your highlight, put your na folder name here. It's number three, right click, select paste, left click. And this is number four right here. We're looking for, put your folder name here, right click, paste. That's four, go all the way to the bottom, move all the way to the right. At the bottom right of your code file, you're going to highlight, put your folder name here, right click it, and paste the name of your folder. As you can see, the name of the folder I'm going to lock and unlock is there. And then this is number five, move up above this is number six, put your folder name here, right highlight it, right click on the highlighted information, left click paste. Now we changed all the default folder name to the name of the folder that we want to lock and unlock. 
also in this code in these codes there's a default password that you need to change the default password is called put your password here and I'm you'll need to highlight it and then type in the name of the folder type in the name of the password that you want I'm just gonna type PW short for password and short for this demonstration to type and retype highlight put your password here and then type in the password you want this is the second time you need to change these two default password information I'm gonna type PW because I want it to be short for this demonstration and then I'm going to select file save as and because the folder I want to lock is on the desktop I'm gonna click on desktop here's the folder called Ricky Lee and I'm gonna move this up so you can see better for the file name you can name it whatever you want however you have to put dot B A T at the end of the name of this key that you want to use for locking and unlocking your folder so I'm going to name this uh, U for unlock and then I'm gonna put L for lock unlock and lock okay U lock dot B A T and if you have more than one key I suggest using underscore and then typing additional information that you want so you can know which key goes which folder and then hit and then click type on your keyboard period and then B A T B boy a apple T Tom and then save it as type you're going to select all files remember it must be in the same directory as the folder that you want to lock and unlock so go ahead and click save it's done I'm going to the desktop where the folder Ricky Lee is that I want to lock and unlock right here and the new key or the new tool that I created using the codes that we downloaded and the name I gave it is this click on the icon of this particular tool that you created one time and as you can see it says, are you sure you want to lock the folder well you see this Ricky Lee folder that we have been talking about I'm gonna type Y on my keyboard and hit enter and it's gonna lock it when it locks it it'll disappear now when you want to bring it back or if you want to see it click on the key again and it asks you for the password type in the password hit my password is PW hit enter and here comes the folder Ricky Lee magic now do not delete and do not lose your key because you need it to get your folder now let's say I wanted to add more information into here I just drag whatever I want into here and then I lock it again that's all now if you want to do what I do I create one key and I copy this key onto my portable flash drive which I carry with me and I have more than multiple computers and on each computer I create a folder it says Ricky Lee and everything that I want locked I put it in there and when I want to lock it I turn on use my key hit yes hit enter and, and it's locked and it's disappear and then I take my key and I leave and I delete this because the original one is on my flash drive and I reuse it over and over if you want multiple keys that's fine I hope this helps you it works for me this is what I use and if you like this please drop me an email at rickily.com to let me know if you have any questions please drop me an email at rickily.com to let me know by clicking on email when you log in okay and you'll get this form just fill it out and click send thanks for watching if you have any further questions or requests for a tutorial, visit rickily.com and send me an email, and I'll do my best to try to get back to you as soon as possible.